I'm Lonnie Beasley and this is Week in Review. Ada City Councilors voted twice this week not to remove City Manager David Hathcote. The preliminary 4-1 to one vote was cast Tuesday in front of a large crowd of Hathcote supporters who applauded the decision. Mayor Dick Scaff was the only nay vote. Scaff changed his mind Thursday for the official vote, making it unanimous to keep Hathcote on the job. Hathcote said he was pleased with Council's decision. Michael Lachelle, Pontiac County Health Department Director, said 10 cases of syphilis have been identified in county residents between the ages of 15 and 21. Lachelle said what makes it so unusual is there have only been two other cases reported in Pontiac County in the last 14 years. He said syphilis can be identified by examination and testing and cured with antibiotics. Pontiac County Health Department offers free screening Monday through Friday. A McAllister teen and a passenger in the vehicle he was driving died Saturday morning in a head-on collision near Allen. Cody Wayne Adams, 17, of McAllister, was driving east on State Highway 1 when he collided with a freight liner driven by Michael Wayne Mosley, 58, of Roth. Adams and his passenger died at the scene. The name of the passenger was withheld pending identification and next of kin notification. Mosley was treated and released from Valley View Regional Hospital. A man suspected in the killing of his child's mother is being housed in Pontiac County Justice Center. Adam John Rollins, 28, of Seminole, was arrested Monday afternoon near Winniewood, exit off of Interstate 35 as he walked along State Highway 29, a few miles east of Elmore City. Rollins is a suspect in the fatal shooting last week of Shiloh Mitchell. She was found dead in the couple's Seminole home next to their two-month-old child who was unharmed. A driver of a beer delivery truck knocked out power to hundreds when his truck snagged a power line Wednesday at the corner of North Country Club Road and Lonnie Abbott Boulevard in Ada. The incident occurred when the driver attempted to make a left-hand turn on the country club beneath power lines. He said he had successfully negotiated for the last three years. Several electrical poles snapped. Officials on the scene say heat caused the line to sag lower than usual. This has been Lonnie Beasley with the 8 Evening News, 8eveningnews.com Week in Review.